It's business, again, as the number one. And actually, all institutions rose, especially democracies. But what's fascinating, Richard, is that rise was all in the top three quartiles of income. The bottom quartile had zero increase in trust. So who's losing trust? Who needs to be worried? The bottom quartile is worried about inflation. They're worried about war. They're worried about another health issue. They're worried about their financial security if there's a recession and they might get fired. So the bottom quartile, the yellow vest is just the beginning. Really? Mm -hmm. do, do governments need to worry about from what, from what you see in the survey? Government has to worry because they're not seen as competent. The big change is 50 point delta between business and government. Therefore, business is being asked to do all these things in societal issues such as diversity and inclusion or sustainability, et cetera. But you'd think government should lead. Right, but is business being asked now to do too much? Is it overweighed and buckling under the strain? And I'm thinking here of Florida, Disney. Great point. The new juggle that they have to do is they had run their business, huh? then they had societal issues. Now the third ball is geopolitics because, again, 95% of people said, I want you to get out of a country where there's an invasion. So get out of Russia. And big trust reward for companies that got out, big trust down for companies that stayed. But geopolitics is a broad definition. So now it's repressive governments or human rights and all these new things. So. You're right, the imperial overstretch of business might be here. This year's Davos feels very different, and I don't just mean the obvious, that there's no snow. Uh, it seems much more serious. Uh, there are fewer people here. There's less frippery going on over in, in the promenade. There's not as many um, vulgar storefronts. Look, I think the best thing about it is smaller number of people, more serious conversations, and business people recognize the impact of inflation or you know, cost of living or all these things that you know, are gonna be blamed on them. And they're really worried that government isn't able to act. And are you having better, more detailed, more relevant talks here than in previous years? I think CEOs are absolutely opening up. They're asking questions because they don't actually have answers. And they feel as if um, there's a lot of moving plates and they have to come to a place where they can run their business well, deal with the employees, yeah. because these are activist employees now, also belief-driven consumers, and ESG-driven investors. So they got a lot of things to handle.